Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. to go back to work otherwise we can't put food on the table right that's right at least I can I don't do uh, work then uh, I don't put food on the table for the family and myself so uh, but it's a gorgeous gorgeous day out here again nice sunshine you can see the flags the Canadian flags here on the poles here to the left they're barely even moving so you can know there is almost no no wind at all and that's the way we like it we as truck drivers because uh, the less wind there is the better we do on fuel mileage you know that's right and fuel mileage is very important to us so yep Alrighty, let's get out of here and uh, have ourselves a great day. I think it's going to be a good day. Alrighty guys, we are cruising along. We just entered Ontario here a little while ago. And Speed warning. Yeah. It is gorgeous, that's for sure. Then we got about an hour and a half to go and we will be in Dryden, in Ontario. We'll see if our load is ready today. Because it's Monday, it might have taken them a little longer to get me loaded, but we'll see. Well guys, right here to the left is where they uh, unload their wood chips. And as you can see, that truck is starting to come down right now and they got another truck right here ready to be dumped. I've always wanted to come close by here, but I never got the opportunity yet, but now I do. For some reason or another, turn left on. they got uh, us roading around this plant here a little different than what I'm used to, so... Yeah. Anyways, I just thought that would be a little bit interesting showing that to you guys. We gotta go over there, that's where our trailers are. Apparently that road over there is closed for some reason or another, but yeah, this is a long way around. Looks like almost two miles around going around this place. <laughs> That's how huge this place is. They make a lot of pulp up here, a lot of paper. Anyways, let's get over there to pick up our trailer and then get out of here. Alrighty guys, we picked up our uh, preloaded trailer. Turn left on Highway Now we are on our way to Jackson, Missouri. Yeah, so now we're going to have a narrow, windy road for a while. But that's all right. That's all right. We've gone through this area so many times already. <laughs> uh, I already know where all the hills are and curves are and all that good stuff so but this is a rough road luckily they just started with the construction up there they're starting to fix some stretches I guess looks like they got it all marked out here in some areas too so they might be fixing this whole stretch here in the next little while now I am maxed out on this load it's a load of paper or pulp they call it so uh, we are heavy we are totally maxed out I'm actually sitting at 80,200 pounds gross I 
know some of you are going to say, well, aren't you allowed to only 80,000 pounds? Well, yes, you are only allowed to hold 80,000 pounds. But because I have the APU unit, Minnesota allows a 550 pound weight exemption for my APU unit. So I am technically still in the legal limit because I'm allowed to be 80,550 pounds in Minnesota. That's according to their state law. Now not every state has that 550 weight exemption, but some states have a 400 pound weight exemptions. Some have a 500 pound weight exemption. But uh, by the time I get through uh, Minnesota, I will have burned off enough fuel that I will be I will be under 80,000 no problem you know because we, we burn a lot of fuel in a day I bet you we burn anywhere between 80 and 100 gallons a day I would say on average between 80 and 90 that's usually what I would probably do so uh, that's that's a few hundred pounds already right there. So I'll be I'll be under eighty thousand by the time I get through Minnesota anyway. So don't have to worry about it. I uh, I made it so that I'm actually uh, a little heavier on the drives right now. So I'm a little over on the drives, and that's because I want to keep it that way because that way I am. Uh, if I'm getting pulled in, my drives will be over and that's where my APU unit will count for, so that way all my other axles are still legal. But anyways, let's get down the road and uh, have some fun. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I certainly am. Alrighty guys, we are just about to come into Fort Francis. Ontario. Yeah. I don't know if you guys like water, but uh, I do. I really love to see water like this. They uh, rebuilt this bridge uh, last year and the year before. They've been working on this bridge steady. pretty good yep it used to be pretty bumpy coming through this bridge here but no it's pretty smooth actually looks like over there they got a like sort of like a gate for ships to come through doesn't look like for big ships but it is certainly for ships yeah it's almost time to go fishing I think soon I'm going to do that and you guys will get to see that that's for sure this year I'm going to do a lot more filming in summer than what I did last year last year we went camping but I didn't really do any filming so this year I am going to do that yep anyways we got a little bit to go and we will be at the border alrighty guys let me ask you how many of you guys live in an area like this? Where you live right on the beach, pretty much. Yes, there is people that are lucky enough to do it. Live right here, close by the beach. Now, I am not one of those, but just kind of curious, how many of you are that lucky? Victoria Avenue. I don't know. I, <laughs> I I would be out here on the water every weekend if I lived on a lake like this, you know. Look at these guys. Right here, right here on the beach. I mean, just walk across the street and they're right there. Wouldn't you love to do that? I would. I would so love to live close to a lake or a river like this. 
cool. Oh, look at that. This guy brought, his, brought out his boat already. Yep, I would too if I had one. I don't own the boat, but... <laughs> yeah, well... That's the way it goes. Not everybody has a boat. I wouldn't mind having one, but... I'm on the road all the time, and... I look at it this way is uh, the way I look at it is uh, if I can only use it maybe three times in the summer then why should I spend twenty thousand dollars on a boat especially if I want a nice boat you know but you can get a cheaper one I know my buddy got his for five thousand and it's a nice In aluminum 200 meters, boat but Victoria Avenue and then turn left even, to even that five thousand dollars for three times a year I could probably rent one for that amount, and even way less amount of money than that. We used to rent boats all the time, and we spent maybe 300 bucks on a weekend to do that. But In that's what I'm saying. Meters, I could do that way cheaper. Nelson Street, and then turn right at 290 meters. All right, RJ, we will do that. We will do that. Yeah, just over past that blue building there to the well, I guess you can't see it right now but you will be in a second just past that on the other side we go across the river and we are in Minnesota we are still in Ontario though right now yep no you should be able to see that blue building that's another paper mill up here just on the other side Church Street, and then turn left in 120 meters. That's where the border is, so I guess we'll get ready for the border, and we shall see you possibly on the other side. Now, I don't know how the Canadian border can do this. Look at this here to the left. This is actually the border. Yes, sir, it is. It's a Canadian border. That's where they got the uh, CPP officers in there, and that's where you got to go. <laughs> I mean, it's right in town, right? You would almost think it would be fenced off or all kinds of stuff, right? But not really. A little bit of cement barriers right there, and that's pretty much it. Plus, they got a railway track crossing right here. Where people could easily come across and go this way. I mean, they probably run after them, but... Well, what do we got going on here? Looks like we got some kind of construction going on. Oh yeah, we do. All right, all right. I guess they're working on this stuff here. Oh, look at that. Some campers coming from the United States to Canada. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys uh, remember me crossing this bridge. Yep, we have to cross into the United States over this railway track. Yeah. So we'll get to the other side and we will see you on the other side. Alrighty guys, we have made it across the border. Yeah. And it is a gorgeous day out here today. Yep, now we are in International Falls, Minnesota. That is correct. You see the sign uh, up here to the left saying welcome to Minnesota or I guess it says Ma Minnesota on top there and then on the bottom it says welcome. Now this is always a little bit of a tight corner up here so we sort of almost have to get way over to the other line there's across the yellow line there in order to uh, actually make this turn up here there we go in 300 feet turn left on third avenue us 53 we got to turn left right away that's a little tight this way but that's the way we got to do it Yep, 
241 is the gas price up here. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Compared to Canada. <laughs> they probably pay over three bucks a gallon. Anyways, let's get down the road and make some miles. Alrighty guys, we are in Cook, Minnesota. And as you can see, I think I'm parked pretty good along the line. But this guy over here, I think he needs to learn how to park. What do you guys think? Look at that, he's taking up two spots. Look at that. I'm over here at the McDonald's. I'm gonna go grab me a bite to eat. Alrighty guys, I'm just having a great time having me an ice cream. But I just wanted to show you guys. This is a almost brand new trailer. I think that looks pretty good, don't you think? Look at that. Truck, I washed it really nicely there on the weekend when I was home, right? Man, just take a look at that. <clears throat> no. Put that with some uh, nice uh, green grass. Do a drive-by. Like we did uh, for the outro there a while back ago with Chupax when it was in winter. I think this would look really good. But, got no setup right now, so we'll have to do it another time, I guess. Hopefully by that time I'll have everything polished up, but anyways, let's get out of here. Well, hello there. I guess it's good evening, but uh, hey, we're out here in the uh, north side of Minneapolis. Yeah. Just stopped at a rest area. And it's called uh, Forest Lake, Minnesota. And we got the interstate... Uh, I-35 right over there just enjoying all the traffic going by and uh, just going for a little bit of a walk figure I end the show and uh, say goodbye to you guys while well, I'm just looking and checking all my lights make sure all my lights are working and seal is still intact so uh, yeah anyways guys I'm calling it a day. We will uh, go to bed here pretty soon. So we shall see you again tomorrow at 2 a.m. Thank you guys for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking away.